Okay, so I had a couple of questions come up and I thought it might be a good idea to um, do videos on them so everyone can know the answers to these because if one person has a question, probably everybody does. So the first question that I'm going to answer is, what do you do if you just need to make a blank uh, or just create an invoice online um, that maybe they didn't order, you didn't put the order in with your order. So for example, you've got a Skin So Soft in stock. Somebody calls you up and says, I need Skin So Soft right now. Can I get it? How do you create an invoice for that when online when you didn't you know, play, put their name in during the order? So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. Hopefully that makes sense. It probably will as I get going. So let me share my screen here and grab my, there we go. Google here, all right. So this is my homepage. Your homepage may look different, remember that, but the part that should look exactly the same is, is this top line. So you're gonna go into web office, just like you're going to print your orders anyway, or print your invoices. And you're gonna go on a customer invoicing and invoicing tool, just like you normally would. And you're gonna click that. And when you scroll down, underneath where maybe the orders that you have saved are, um, you're gonna see where it says customer. You're gonna get to choose a customer. I'm gonna choose myself. And you're gonna click go. Now, from there, you see that I have some saved orders for myself. I just don't print my own invoices very often anymore, so um, we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna ignore it, but you're gonna go down to blank worksheet and click on that. And now you have a blank worksheet. We don't need these, let's just leave those out. That gets rid of one of my problems. Okay, so you're now you're gonna have a blank worksheet with nothing on it, and you're just gonna click Add Lines, and from there you can enter the campaign that the person ordered in or the campaign you're in, so this keeps track of your tax records. Rather than just writing up a handwritten invoice, um, it's gonna keep this for your tax records. It's gonna keep it also for your records, so if someone calls you up and says, you remember that lipstick that I ordered six months ago? I need another one of those, but I don't remember the color. You do have a way of looking that up. You're gonna put your item number in, and it will automatically pop the description in, and then you can put the quantity, the regular price, and the adjusted price if there is one. And if you're going to adjust the cost, if you're giving them a discount because it's in stock or something, you could do that as well. Um, and then once that's in, you'll just click Every, once all the items are in, you'll click update, save and print, and it's just like before. Super, super simple, right? Okay, I'm gonna show you one other thing about invoicing while I'm on here. Um, if you, We're gonna go back to the main web office page. Um, one of the girls asked me today about changing sales tax and, um, and also service charges in the same spot. So I'm gonna show that to you as well. Uh, so when you print your own invoices, Avon automatically, or the invoicing tool automatically um, figures your sales tax for you, which is awesome. So if you don't like to do math, this is the answer. Do these, you don't have to worry about it. But you do need to make sure your um, sales tax is correct. It will be whatever state you live in. So if Avon, you know, if when you signed up for your Avon account, um, if your address is in Michigan, like mine is, it's going to be automatically default to 6%. You do not have to change your sales tax for some, if someone from Ohio buys something and their sales tax is different. You don't have to worry about that. You're in Michigan, you pay Michigan sales tax on it, there, and you pay the sales tax to Avon, so basically you're reimbursing Avon for that 6% sales tax. So I don't mess with this, but if you just want to verify that you're at 6% and you want to make sure it's doing what it needs to be doing, um, I'll show you how to do that, okay? Because the service charge is in the same spot, that's something you might want to adjust occasionally. So same thing, you're going to go into that web office section right there. Scroll down toward the bottom, and under marketing tools, you're going to see personalization tool. Seems like a weird place for that, right? But it, I think it seems weird. I don't know, that's just me. So there's a lot of things you can change in here. Um, you can say what gets displayed on the invoice, on the web page, on the find a rep tool online. All of that, you can decide what is seen and what is not. Maybe you don't want your address showing up on things. You don't have to do that. Um, but I would recommend putting a city and state in all of them, at least. Um, and if you want your phone number or your email, 
listed as well. Um, and then we have customer preferences, which this is where you decide if your customers are gonna get all the events, emails from Avon, I tried to mix those together, or if they're just going to get one email campaign. I highly recommend, make sure both of those are clicked because um, I know every once in a while people will say they're getting too many emails. Well, they can opt out of it. It's not that big of a deal. And I personally don't think they send too many. They don't send that many, maybe one a day. I mean, ignore it, the rest of us do. Um, so that's just my opinion. Anyway, you can also decide if your website is gonna offer both representative and del direct delivery or just direct delivery. So maybe you don't want your local customers placing their orders on there because all that does is put that in your cart for when you order. You can switch that to direct delivery only and then they, if they go on your website and they save an order, the only way they can purchase it is through direct delivery. Now I have both because I have a few customers that like to shop online but want me to deliver it and so they do that and it's easy for me I don't have to enter anything it's already entered in and then we come to customer invoicing and this is where you're gonna find that sales tax section um, so whatever sales tax rate your state is is what you need to charge it for so we're I'm in Michigan so minus six percent if you're not in Michigan it's gonna be something different but you can adjust that so if you move you may need to double check it make sure it just adjusts it when you change your address but they should do that automatically but just in case there you go it also has a service charge now they default to 75 cents because that's what all of our stuff used to say and is going to say again. I have up to mine to a dollar. A lot of them, a lot of people have. For one thing, it's easier to figure in your head when somebody calls you and says, how much is my order? It's a lot easier to just add a dollar six, you know, a dollar service charge plus a six cent sales tax on that than it is to um, try to figure out that 75 cents mess, okay? So that's one of the reasons. Another reason is they've upped our shipping costs. Um, our shipping costs are still very reasonable, but they're more than what they used to be. So if I can collect a dollar from each one of my customers, I'm covering that without a doubt and it's also maybe helping cover the cost of samples that I give out the cost of um, brochures and I'm able to give more to people that way uh, and not feel like Ugh, I can't afford to do this so that covers that cost that's where I take that out of um, if you look down you can also see um, other things that you might want or not want on your invoice and Vance is back um, <laughs> If you want the campaign of the item that they purchased to show, or if you want uh, promotional information on there, um, all of that stuff, so you can decide what you want and what you don't want on there. I don't like the promotional information to show because sometimes I find them a better deal and they go, well, I got the buy one, get one free. Yeah, but I got it cheaper just and back ordering what? and doing I'm something separate. I'm going to separate. go get a Zoom YouTube video up right now. Oh, you're going to have to wait till I'm done. Awesome. Okay. No, I'm talking about on the... Oh, you're going to upload it? Uh -huh. Okay, cool. No, not upload. I'm actually going to do a video. Okay, you're going to have to wait just a minute then. Because I'm on Zoom right now. No, All right. I'm not talking about this All right. Um, so you can also see if there's if you do groups, they have a place that you can display the group name. I don't use the groups. That's just not something I've used. Um, you can display a footer for your email request, which basically what that says is go to your event.com and set up, you know, give me your email address and you'll get these emails so you'll know what all the specials are. So I like to keep that on there because I like to them to see what specials are coming up, even if I don't get to them that campaign. Um, and then you can personalize a message also. And so I do have something personal in there just to kind of help promote my leadership side of my business. So that's where you would do all that and don't forget to hit save and then you're all set. Okay. So that is super easy, right? You can all do that. And hopefully that'll help you out and make your invoicing a little bit easier. All right. Y'all have a great day.